Hello, Jim Hodges here, the voice behind the unabridged recordings of G. A. Henty's The Cat of Bubastes, a tale of ancient Egypt. The Cat of Bubastes takes place in 1250 BC and is a study of all things Egyptian. It's the earliest time frame that Henty wrote about, and since he actually traveled to Egypt, there are a lot of eyewitness descriptions. Amuba, a young prince of the Ribu tribe on the Caspian Sea, is taken captive to Egypt after his tribe is conquered, and his father is killed by the Egyptians. He's placed in the service of a priest of Osiris named Amirez. Amirez doesn't really believe there are the many gods of the Egyptian religion, but that all of the gods are just representations of the many facets of the one true god. That's Henty's way of interjecting Christianity into ancient Egypt. Amuba is not really much of a slave. He's more like a servant. He actually makes friends with the son of the priest. And while he is serving his master and making the most of his circumstances, you, the listener, learn about how Egyptians hunted birds, how they fished, how they fattened duck for eventual sale in the market. You learn about the wildlife, the religion, the architecture, the agricultural methods, and the dangerous animals like hippopotamus and crocodile. You learn how to mummify a cat and what the funeral practices are of the Egyptians. So while Amuba and his friend are goofing around with a bow and arrow in the backyard, they accidentally kill the sacred cat of Bubastes. You don't kill a cat in Egypt. It is a capital offense. So suddenly, Amuba and his friend are running for their lives from the authorities. While they're trying to escape, they meet Moses in the desert. They travel up the Nile, they cross a desert, and they finally return home, where Amuba becomes king of the Ribu, like his father before him. If you wanted a book that could be used as the basis for a year-long unit study of ancient Egypt, G. A. Henty's The Cat of Bubastes would be a fantastic choice. I've got an unabridged recording of the book. It's 11 hours and 34 minutes. I've got a study guide and a vocabulary list available for this one title. Get whatever you need right on this web page. Thanks for listening.